Hey there people, it's Danny from Clutch's Calisthenics here. So I want to give you a life update from me personally. And that is that I have recently stopped doing polyamory and switched to monogamy, which quite a lot of people are not going to be aware of this because this isn't something I've been talking about online since I made the switch to polyamory around two months ago. So as many of you who have been watching my videos for quite some time, you know that around two months ago I was in a long-term relationship with a Thai woman called Nock and yeah two months ago we seized the connection completely and from that point forward I decided I wanted to start doing polyamory which I do have a lot of experience with it. I got into it around three years ago and since then I've switched from monogamy and polyamory at multiple different times and for anyone that doesn't know what polyamory is it's where you can have as many different intimate connections as you want unlike monogamy where you are just with one person intimately and you have boundaries in place with whoever you're with that you are with no one else whatsoever intimately and yes i was monogamous with knock the whole six months when we were together i was not when i met her but then once we started being intimate and we started talking about what type of relationship dynamic that we wanted between us, we decided mutually with each other that we wanted to be monogamous. So it was right for me at that time. But as soon as the connection ended, and this is what normally happens when a connection ends for me, I end up switching to polyamory. And there is different forms of polyamory. So I'm going to be very specific with you what type of polyamory I've been doing. So the type that I've been doing is what is known as relationship anarchy. And if you don't know what that is, it's really, really, really easy for me to explain in very simple ways. And that is where you have no hierarchy, which means there is no label. So you don't have any boyfriends or girlfriends. You don't own whoever you're with because a lot of people a lot of times when they're in monogamous relationships they're like it's my boyfriend or my girlfriend and not everyone's into that so I just wanted to give myself complete freedom where it's like I could be with many different people and not have to be concerned about breaking any boundaries unlike if I was in monogamy and I decided to do that and did that it'd be classed as cheating which wouldn't make the relationship work at all because when you're breaking a boundary it's just like a relationship can no longer continue you might be able to resolve it but yeah I'm not going to go off too much on that so for me yeah I just made this switch because I didn't want to be tied down to one specific person I wanted to be completely open to everyone and anyone and if any situations arose where I wanted to connect with this person then this person at a different time then it was absolutely fine to do so so I have been doing that for around two months but just recently, literally in the last few days or so, I have now switched back to monogamy, which we should always have our mind open to everything and attached to nothing. And I mean, you could apply this to anything in life. A lot of people say, I'll never do this, or I'll never be this way, or this is never gonna happen, and I'll always do this. And it's like, you never know what's around the corner. So I'm always keeping my mind open, not being attached to things. And when things need to change, they change. And I'm always in a constant state on my own journey of evolving all of the time. So this is exactly what I felt I needed to be doing. And you may be thinking, well, if you're saying you switched to monogamy, you're now in a relationship with someone else. Yes, I am. And I will talk about that in another video soon. I'm not going to talk about it in this. If you'd like me to make a full video on that, let me know down below. I can talk about it very soon. It wasn't something that I necessarily saw coming. But I knew that it would come along at some point And I just needed to be patient and allow it to come into my life rather than start looking for it. I'm one of the most magical people that have come into my life just recently for me to have a monogamous connection with. Yeah, and what I say, a lot of time polyamory for me, this is not like it for everyone. Different people do polyamory for different reasons. But for me, it's always seemed a lot like dating. I may be interested in a person, connect them intimately, but I don't want necessarily a long-term intimate connection with them. So I may see them for a while and then see some other people. And then when the right person comes along, which seems someone that could be like a long-term life partner, then I'm more than happily to stick to monogamy with them. Because if I'm just selling myself short and settling less to the best and being in a monogamous connection, it's just really gonna bring up this desire in me multiple different times to be with other people. And if the person I wanna be with is monogamous and wants to stay monogamous with me, should I even say, then it could cause some issues and the relationships possibly 
or most likely gonna break down and it's gonna have to end. Because if you've got an incompatibility, you've got someone that wants to be polyamorous and one monogamous, it's just a deal breaker. It necessarily, uh, well, it pretty much cannot work even. And what I wanna say is this time, for me switching to monogamy was not because I found someone to be monogamous with at all. I will give you the shortest explanation possible but as be in depth as possible with the whole process that I went through this recently. So since me and Nock ended the connection, there's been girls here and there that I've been connecting with and just in the last two weeks there have been a lot of different females appearing in my life to connect with and then I was gonna meet up with this one and that one and that one and you know, what I, well, where I got to within myself, probably not gonna, so I'm gonna explain to you now. I just got to a point where I was like, gonna go on this date with this girl, I'm connecting this girl, that one, and it was just like, I was thinking about girls too much because there's so many different girls to focus upon, and I found that's been an issue for me multiple times in polyamory. That's why I normally end up switching to monogamy, because I just have so much going on in my life and I don't need so much of this distraction with so many different females where I'm just getting revved up and I want to be this one and that one and that one. It's just not the best for me and my lifestyle. It works for a lot of people, but a lot of time, yeah, it just gets very, very overwhelming for me. And why that happening, I then got to the point where, yes, I was connecting with this one person for around two months, it was going really well. But then I just started to have a bad experience with relationship anarchy and I had that happen before. I'm not saying that's a broad statement that it will be bad for everyone, but a lot of my experiences with relationship anarchy have been good, but there's been quite a few bad ones. And it made me realize, man, I don't wanna do relationship anarchy. I wanna do polyamory or monogamy and have hierarchy because you can have with polyamory where you have your primary partners and your secondary partners. So there, that is one part to it. And then the second one, I was spending a lot of time with someone else and I was very, very interested in them. But due to multiple different reasons, I could see that it was just not gonna be possible whatsoever. And it was bringing up a lot of desires in me to get like nurtured by a female and just be closer to them in a non-sexual way. And just, yeah, just have this real nice intimate closeness and then that literally got me to the point where I was like man you know what I don't even want to do polyamory anymore as well I just want to find someone that I could be monogamous with and then what happened after I went through that process within about a five day period boom through this like crazy situation that almost it didn't happen due to a friend of mine I ended up meeting this amazing person that has just like blown me away. She's all what I want and way, way more as well, which is really, really good. And I'm just having a really good time of her and we're just connecting really well and enhancing each other's experience, which is really, really amazing. And if you don't know about this, I've talked about this a couple of times in videos before, whoa, almost fell over them. There is something known as a law of attraction. So I believe for me, from my own personal experience, I needed to go through those processes that I did with polyamory recently and relationship anarchy because if I hadn't and I'd met her, this girl I'm with wants to be monogamous and I wouldn't have wanted to have done that. But as soon as I moved through all of those things and got to a point of being like, right, you know what? I'm not looking for girls anymore. I kept trying to get with this girl and be with this girl and so forth, not for sexual reasons at all, just for intimate connection needs that I wanted met, like love languages they're called, if you don't know about that. Look into the five love languages, amazing book that will transform all of your relationships. Yeah, I just kept finding with these girls time and time and time again that was attracting so many girls to me that necessarily didn't want what I wanted. So it's not a complete compatibility and not an equal exchange whatsoever. And what I had come to realize was I was sort of like being in a state of non-resistance where I wasn't just being patient and waiting for the right person to come to me, I was trying to look for them and forcing it. And then it was just going in the wrong direction, not in the direction that I wanted at all. But I came to realize that, went through that process, all the other things that I mentioned, and then it opened me up to the potentiality to attract the right person, then boom, there they came. So yeah, I will talk about that connection fully soon and how we met, this is really, really mind blowing. And what I can say is, what's been going on for me since I have been monogamous, I'm not thinking about girls all of the time. My mind is way calmer. I feel way happier. I have a deep sense of inner peace and I'm just feeling way better mentally and physically 
holistically because I'm not chasing this girl, that girl, and that girl, and because I'm connecting with someone in a very intimately deep emotional connection and in ways that just releases loads of oxytocin which is known as like the love chemical that just makes you feel so safe and secure and it's one of the best things for healing you and making you feel as best as you possibly can as well so it's just a win-win situation rather than what's happening loads and loads and loads when you're meeting new girls after one after the other after the other which just releases loads of dopamine and it really stimulates your central nervous system and it can have a negative effect on your adrenals and your health holistically the oxytocin is just the opposite it's like really really calming it's like a watery energy dopamine's like fire 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 i'm really enough fire i don't need any more stimulating whatsoever it just ends up having a negative effect on me where it depletes me and just runs me down and has a negative effect on my energy levels so it's more what I would say with what is going on at the moment it's the middle ground it's not from like one extreme to the other where it's like dopamine up boom! or like the opposite where you have like almost no dopamine it's like getting a lot of oxytocin a little bit of dopamine and it just is the perfect balance and yeah one last thing i just say i just feel very stable and secure with what is going on with this relationship dynamic at the moment because certain times with polyamory or relationship anarchy i found there could be a lot of uncertainty and it can make me feel very unstable and just not make me feel good not always but there's been quite a few times that that can happen that obviously can happen in a monogamous connection as well so yeah, I'll keep you updated. Like I said, I'll make a video soon talking about the actual connection that I have with this amazing person. And if you'd like me to make any videos on anything that I've talked about in this video or any other types of videos that you'd like me to make on specific topics, let me know down below and I'll make them for you as soon as possible. You may notice I've been making a lot of different videos recently. I'm experimenting and I'm someone that likes to do different things and I have a wealth of knowledge of so many different things that can help people. So I'm just doing what is known as sampling see what videos do really well and what people like and then I'll continue to make more of them or if they're not doing so well then I won't make more of them and quite a few of them people are giving me some really good feedback which is really good so yeah I'm not going to go on any more about that but yeah got any questions leave them down below if you like the video like it down below don't forget to share this with others and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis so many other videos that would just inspire you and motivate you to create more of a life that you desire and to help you evolve in many different positive and beneficial ways like the, they have for me because I've done so many different things that have helped me create more of the life desire myself and the health and the body and the fitness levels and so forth as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you make sure you click the subscribe button down below here not there sorry <laughs> and click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of where new videos are uploaded and have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go get those gains peace